it comes out of nowhere. And no one knows what causes it to appear. Like a curse. It will follow you and hunt you. Keeping you from enjoying your daily responsibilities. Defying your common statements of rationality and ground furies. The creature has been simply dubbed as the Graying Dog because of from its affair. It looks like a large canine. As you could imagine, it walks on all four legs, has a bit of a snout. Although it doesn't seem to have a tail whatsoever, its coat is pale blue hue that is no color and its strands even around eight or seven feet tall. It then appears to you as it always seems to be very distant at first. You may not even notice it in the background. Once you do see it, you will notice as artificial looking gait. Its feet barely touch the ground and it rocks undauntedly from its front hind to its hind legs as if it was suspended or weighed almost nothing. It is within your view and travel back and forth. Keeping its eyes on you, I would strongly advise you to ignore it entirely. For the longer you look at the creature, the more of your surroundings begin to distort. Trees and buildings around you will seem to disappear until the ground is flat and there's nothing for miles except for the creature dancing before you. As you continue to watch it, it will approach you little by little. It only becomes more resume mesmerizing the closer it gets. When it comes an uncomfortably close distance, you'll be able to see its eyes. Its eyes are not that of a dog's though. Its eyes are white with solid black pupils. As they looked at yours, its mouth stays ajar, revealing that is absolutely no teeth. Nothing but blackish looking gums. Its expression almost looks as if you were surprised. You cannot allow it to become closer to you, for it gains more control over you when it gets closer. But just remember that it cannot approach you, even if you do not look at it or pay any attention. The creature may moan slightly to get your attention, and will begin to sob and cry the longer you ignore it. When you hide it in your home, you will hear it brushing up against your windows, and it will peer inside and look at you throughout the cracks in blinds or curtains. You mustn't heed any attention. This will continue on and on, and you should not even attempt to hide in your closet or any place that does not have a direct link to the outside of your house. For it will come inside and wait outside your door to the room and then there will be no way to escape. While you try to sleep, you will feel it watching you. You mustn't allow it to know that you're awake. It comes into your room at night, hoping to fill your dreams with its appearance. If you keep your eyes shut and breathe normally, it will leave before the sun comes back up. From time to time it will disappear and then reappear. But as long as it does not know you and know that you can see it and that you're aware of it, it cannot hurt you. And that, my little pretties, was the grain dog, a creepypasta. My final thoughts on this story? I honestly thought this one was actually pretty good. A pretty good creepypasta for what it is. I mean, that image of the dog or something that you saw for the narration and even the thumbnail. Holy shit, that thing was really scary. I'm not denying that one bit. That's actually one of the freakiest things I've heard. But... Smile Dog, in my opinion, is more scarier than this one. Like, this one, I know it's terrifying, but I find Smile Dog to be more scarier than this one. And I'm not trying to compete this um, story with um, with Smile Dog, no. Smile Dog is a classic creepypasta, and it always will be. But this one, on the other hand, I honestly found this one to be a really good story. You know, having this thing being like a nightmarish... Um, dog, monster, whatever, you know. It's pretty creepy, but I've seen other narrations of this story, and I heard it's like an urban legend or something. I know that Creepy Reading actually did a video based on this, as well as um 
Many other people have actually narrated this story, so I thought, you know what? I'm going to give it a shot. I know a lot of people actually have decided to narrate this story, so yeah. I thought, you know what? Why not do this story like this one? Because this story, I honestly thought it was really neat. But I'm going to sit here and say right now, Smile Dog will always be the best story in the world. Like, involving dogs, that is. That's just my opinion, but, you know, I respect your opinion entirely if you like this one or not. But let's get on with the story. I do like that it's a really well-made story. I definitely like the concept of it as well as the good grammar, the sentence structuring. I do like the storyline even though the story was short. I still thought it was a really interesting and well-made story. It actually provides pretty good concept for what this is as well as the good content. I honestly really thought this story honestly was pretty good. I honestly have to say right now is that this story honestly was pretty amazing. Like, especially when I first saw this, um, I honestly thought this movie, honestly, well, not movie, but, like, this pasta. It's honestly really good. Now, I know there's other creepy pastas that did pretty good, but this one honestly did a really well-made job. So it's honestly, to be fair, I would wish that this story was a bit longer, but yet again, this is, like, an older story. So I'm willing to give it, you know, a pretty good concept for what it is. Now, but I really do have to say is that this thing being like a ghost that follows you around or something. I mean, I've seen other stories that do something like this, but this one honestly was pretty good, good for a story. Like, I'm not going to deny that one bit. This one was actually pretty good. So, anyways, that being said, let me sit here and say this now. This is just simply my own personal opinion, and if you happen to disagree with me, that's fine too. We're all entitled to our own opinions regards to these creep pastas, and this is- Oh, pardon me about that. And this is simply my own personal thoughts. Um, to the author of the story, I can't seem to find out who you are. If you do find out who you know who the author is, like, if anyone knows who the author of this story is, or if the author- manages to find this um video and comments and lets me know that they're the ones who wrote the story i'll be sure to give them proper credit then but as of now i'm just gonna leave it as an ominous until i can find out who the original author of this story is so yeah i just thought i'd make it clear in case if you guys are all curious and all that but anyways with that being said what did you guys think about this creep pasta did you all enjoy it did you all not also, what we have done person to help make this story a lot better? Feel free to leave me know your thoughts are down in the comments below. I'm the Queen of Lions. Thank you so much for watching today's episode. And if you're new to this channel, be sure to like, comment, and subscribe because I make brand new videos every single day. Don't forget to ring the notification bell to when I upload. So that way, you guys will not miss an upload. And as always, please roll the outro because I'm out. Thank you.